And it was definitely a good day to be out there in the water trying to cool off as temperatures hit 100. It would feel like temperatures for a majority of the day well into those triple digits. And it looks like that trend continues for tomorrow. So we are going with another first alert weather day for our Saturday as we're expecting temperatures up to 97, but feeling more like 109 for the majority of the afternoon. So that extreme heat is going to continue, but it does look like this could be the end finally of the heat wave. And we're going to back those temperatures down a little bit heading into the second half of your weekend and especially into next week. So let's take a look at your temperature and feel like trend here as we go through the next several days. So as mentioned, still got the first alert weather day for tomorrow as we'll get up to about 97, feeling more like 109. But it's Sunday, a little better chance for some rain comes down a little bit, just 92, feeling like 104. And then for our Monday, we'll only hit 90 degrees with the feel like temperatures actually below those triple digit numbers coming in just at 98. So you can see there is finally some relief on the way, and this looks like it's going to stick around so we might get a break from those first alert extreme hot and humid days but today was definitely one of those still even as we push late into the afternoon Look at this. These are your current feel like temperatures across much of the Midlands, and you can see everyone is in the triple digits. Feels like 106 in Columbia, 107 in Lexington. It feels like 106 in Orangeburg, 102 for you in Winsboro. For the most part, we have stayed dry. There's maybe been one or two brief little stray showers out there today, but we are watching a line of some showers and storms in the upstate that could try to make their way into the Midlands, although I think it's going to fall apart as it works its way here. But you can see here's that line that just moved through Clemson, beginning to make its way towards Laurel and Greenwood. It's got a fair share of thunder and lightning with it, along with some pretty decent downpours, but it is beginning to show some signs of weakening. We also got a little cell just north of Augusta that's trying to push into South Carolina, but that too is starting to weaken a little bit. So maybe for areas as you get towards Salud and Newberry, you could get the, what's left of this storm push in and what any rain we can get right now would be much needed. So hopefully we can get at least some rain to move in, but we're only going with about a 20% chance for the remainder of this evening. It's going to be a hot one. We'll only slip down to about 89 by 10 o'clock, eventually 84 at 1. Low 80s to get the day started. Temperatures climb up to around 97, but you do see a little better chance for some showers and storms for our Saturday. So let's break down that chance. So you, for tonight, you can see the rain for the most part breaks down just a few stray showers around 9, 10 o'clock for far northwestern areas. A dry start to our Saturday, but as early as one o'clock, we begin to see some showers and thunderstorms fire up across portions of the region that continues. So it does look like we'll have some scattered activity into the dinner and even early evening hours. And some of these could be on the heavy side of some pretty decent downpours, thunder and lightning, maybe even a brief severe thunderstorm warning can't be ruled out. And a similar story as we go into our Sunday, you can see Sunday afternoon, some of those showers and storms starting to fire up again across the area. So it does look like maybe we could finally get some rain and in total we could be looking at some significant rain over an inch with some spots maybe pushing three to four inches if you get caught under one of those heavier downpours so it does look like some relief from the heats on the way in the form of rain but tomorrow still a first alert weather day 97 but then as those rain chances go up you can see we drop down more or less into the low the mid 90s for Sunday and into much of next week with those daily rain chances sticking around for the majority of next week.